Welcome again to the Spotswood Arms series, Tavern series. Today we're going to make punch. And punch in the 18th century was a huge, huge drink. It had originated in the East Indies in about the early 1600s or the 17th century, brought back to England by sailors. Uh, one of the main ingredients at that time was Eric, which was made from the sap of coconut or rice, and it was mixed with five other things. Now, the, hint, the beginning or the origin of the word punch comes from either a Hindu word meaning five or the huge cast that liquor and beer and such were made in called a punchinon. In this particular recipe, we're gonna make fish house punch, and it is one of the standard fare of the 18th century. The five ingredients in the Spotswood Arms Fish House Punch are liquor, sugar water or a syrup, lime juice, and nutmeg or a spice. And with these all combined, we have our fish house. So without further ado, let's make some punch. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some light rum. Then some dark rum. Then some good rye whiskey. Then some cognac. Next, I've already made up some simple sugar syrup. And last but not least, you know, this vessel here, one of my patrons found this out near one of the old German huts that was here from 1714, and we've got lime juice in that. All right, and we mix it all up. Okay, now I want to show you sugar came in cones like this here and was broke up with a set of nippers like these. And what I prefer to do is take cloth and a hammer, and after I've busted those pieces out, I tap them down and make them granular, and that way I can make the syrup for this particular recipe. Last but not least, of course, we have our limes here for the lime juice. I like to cut some limes up and float them on the top. Uh, and last but not least is the colonial gentleman's or gentle lady's companion, ground nutmeg. And you just simply ground some of that in. And there is the punch. Now, in the 18th century, punch bowls, and you see several here, are kind of all different shapes and sizes, some getting into a couple of gallons. This one in particular is one of my personal favorites. It's drink and be merry. And this is pretty much a individual one. Now, one thing that you're not going to see in the 18th century is a matter of pouring this out or ladling it out. Most people would pick up the punch bowl itself and drink from the punch bowl itself. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. Excellent. So that's Fish House Punch. Thank you. <laughs>